Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, I'll show you how to make a mini Cricut machine for your dolls. Let's get crafting. To get the printable for this video, you can visit our blog at poppyseedmini.blogspot.com. I suggest printing on cardstock for the best results. To start, take clear packing tape and start at the top of the page. Cover the top and bottom lid with tape. Do not tape this part. Tape the scrapers, then tape the back side, the tray, and the bottom section. Tape across the front faces and the rest of the Cricut pieces. Cut out the first three Cricut parts. Then you'll need a small piece of foam board and a glue stick. Take the back piece with the lid and glue the printed side to the foam board. Check to make sure the lid can fold down. Glue on the back and the top of the lid. Cut it out after the glue dries with a sharp knife. Cut out the inside piece and cut off the two sides. Glue the two sides to another piece of foam board. Then you'll need a toothpick, which you can wrap in aluminum tape or paint with silver paint. Cut out the sides. Glue on one side to the back. Then glue on the inside image. Stick the toothpick in the glued side and stick it in the other side and glue that side down. Glue the blade print onto the foam board. Cut it out, then cut off the back half of the foam board. Hot glue it in place, a little above the original placement. Cut out the front face and cut off both sides. Glue all the pieces to foam board. And once they're dry, cut them out. Glue the inside print to the door. Use hot glue to glue on the top piece and cut off the extra paper. Next, cut two pieces of wire to create the hinge for the door. Stick the wire in the door, then push on the side piece. Do the same on the other side. Hot glue both sides in place. Next, measure the thickness of the sides. Cut the tray and button strips to that width. Hot glue in the back tray. Then glue on one side at a time. Trim the bottom and glue down.
Cut an extra strip of paper and glue it across the bottom. Because everything is coated in tape, you can use a small piece of tacky to hold the door closed. To make the mats, cover one side with tape. Cut out all of the colors and glue each color together. To make the scrapers, cut out all the pieces. Glue the upper half of the scrapers to some of the extra cardstock. Cut them out and glue them down again until there are three or four layers. Then glue on the back. Pinch and crease the bottoms together. To make the scraper and weeding tools, take a toothpick and cut about an inch long piece off both ends. Sand the cut edges. Paint the sticks white using acrylic paint. Once the white paint is dry, paint the tips green to match the scrapers. To make the scraper head, draw the shape on clear plastic. Cut it out and cover it in aluminum tape. Cut off the extra tape. Bend it like so. Clip off the unpainted part of the toothpick. Take a small strip of aluminum tape to tape the scraper to the handle. For the weeding tool, cut off the end of a safety pin. Bend the tip down using a pliers. Use another piece of aluminum tape to tape it to the handle. Last. Cut out the little vinyl labels and glue them onto colored paper. Cut them so that you have three eighths of an inch showing on both sides. Then you'll need a dowel to wrap it around. Glue the edge down. Now wrap it in tape to give it a glossy shine. Trim off the extra tape. You can use whatever colors you want to make your collection. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Poppy Seed Mini. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And of course, have fun crafting.